Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson, talking today about playing a pusher and avoiding the big mental mistake that can occur, which is getting frustrated that we miss shots against a pusher. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple rallies here. You know, it's just so common. You see more racket throws against a pusher than you see anywhere else in tennis because something about the style of play makes us feel like we should always beat somebody who just gets the ball back. And when we miss against a pusher, it's just so aggravating and we fall apart mentally. The rackets get thrown, you know, maybe some bad language, whatever it is. So. The main rule today, you guys, is make sure you understand that with the length of these rallies, you know, a lot of times you're playing a lot more tennis against a pusher in terms of, of long points, so to speak, than you would against somebody who, who attacks the ball more, that you feel a little more physically and emotionally invested in this match than you do against somebody who you play shorter points against. And so, Missing after a 20 ball rally against this guy is way more frustrating than missing, you know, in a six shot rally with somebody who knows how to hit winners, okay? But kind of the way you want to equate this, I guess, is if you're playing somebody with a great serve, you know, you just kind of understand that they're going to ace you sometimes. It's not frustrating to get aced by somebody with a great serve. It's not uh, frustrating that somebody has an unbelievable forehand and hits some winners off you. This guy's you know, best attribute is how many shots he makes and how long he can extend points. We are going to miss. You know, it's, just, it's just a matter of fact that in long points, whether we get a little physically tired or we didn't pick the right shots to hit, we're going to miss balls, but if it, if it drains us mentally to miss against this guy, we're playing right into his hands. Because over time, we'll just start making more and more mistakes as we get frustrated, and all of a sudden the match is over against a player we think we should beat. So if you guys can wrap your head around it that, yes, you're, you're going to be usually trying a little bit harder in terms of you know, your stamina and your mental toughness against this player, be okay with missing some shots. And that way you stay a little more positive mindset and, you know, it helps get you over the edge against a player like this when you're not wasting energy with racket throws and thinking about points that have already occurred. Okay? So go out, give them your best effort, stay positive, and it's a really, really good way to start to see good results against a player that just makes a lot of shots. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.